Titanic and welcome to another late night recording of Titanic season 10 where I've just been lazy and like really not doing much of anything tonight. I mean I started on some homework and then I didn't and it's like eh. I don't know I'm so unmotivated again my life has just been a constant back and forth of what the hell do I do with myself and so that's about where you we're don't. at. Just don't. So I'm gonna finally just start the episode off by cleaning up this stupid mess that um I believe it was Smite and Storm made out of my base. They, they put the berries here, and then they just put an item frame with random meat all over my house. Yeah, that, that stuff ex that stuff's getting more expensive. You may want to preserve that. That's what happens when you lock down the country and you keep the food plants from being open. We run out of food. Dude, freaking grab all the hot dogs. And See, this is why I'm a chops. farmer. Because it's pretty hard to grab all the pork steaks. It's hard. Huh? Dude, no, grab the pork yeah. steaks. We're going. Uh, How many get those pork steaks items? and I'm perfectly fine. We'll be vibing with pork steak. Uncreep. Them Berkshire steaks are good. They make regular pork? pork look so boring. I mean, regular what pork on its own isn't that good, but, I mean, oh, that bird. Pork with tomato sauce. I mean, beef is by Nasty. far superior to pork, but that Berkshire Clearly. stuff is almost... Bur Purebred Berkshire pigs are almost as good as beef. It's very, very close. Very good stuff. I mean, it's on par with venison. Of course, if you don't like venison, you just don't have a taste. Venison suela. How many of these stupid item frames did they put around my house? You're gonna be finding these for the rest of the season. Can I have <laughs> lava proof? Can we have lava proof fire item frames? No. I think they probably put one under my balcony or something. No? Good. And no, this isn't gonna be my entire episode, it's just going to be like half of it. Mm, but. I know, talking. I'm doing something just as entertaining. I am covering up a giant 60. Is it 60? A 50 by 50 area with spruce wood. You know, I, I don't know if I've tiger. ever mentioned these signs, but a long time ago, Earth put a sign here that says, like, Cutie sleeps here. And then Smite showed up instead of put a sign that says, Nah, you ain't cute. And I've just left them forever here. Like, I don't know. They're, they've just become, like, a part of my house. I'm tempted to get rid of them, but at the same time, they're funny. And I laugh at them every time I see them, so I just leave them. Same with the one with Trevor put. Oh, yeah, we'll see that one in a minute when I go to my other end of my house. I'm just trying to figure out where they all left these stupid ass items from. So they put some up here in the observation tower. I think I'm wasting my time, but at the same time, I think they did because they would know I'd go look up here. Oh, gosh, I'm building a giant platform. I'm not torching this That's up, so I'm gonna have like creepers falling on my head, surviving from the fall damage, and blowing up in my face. Because I learned from previous seasons and between seasons, building a giant box for spawning mobs is a terrible idea. So in other news tonight, um, I saw at the Game Awards, Arc 2 has been announced, and it looks mm, very, yeah. very... I mean, the last live-action type trailer I've seen like that that made me that mad was the Battlefield 5 one. <laughs> and I was so pissed after that one. And... I mean, if those trailers are any indications of when the game is going to be bad, <laughs> oh boy, we're in for a bad game. I mean, oh, but I just clicked on my game on accident. Whoopsies. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's really too soon for Ark to have a sequel. I mean, the game has been in full release for barely three years and still has a whole plethora of problems with it. I mean, is it just because Ark isn't enough of a cash cow anymore? I mean, they upped its price to $60 and... Now people just aren't buying it, so they're like, oh, let's make a new game to be a cash cow. Like, I just don't get why a sequel to Ark. I don't know. I mean, like, It's not like there's a story to make a sequel for. I mean, just keep extending this. I mean, unless they really are going to do more instead of so many DLCs. Because Ark does have a great storyline. I'll give it that. I mean, I think Ark's storyline is better than a lot of the gameplay of it because the gameplay has so many bugs and flaws with it. Um, but... I just I don't know oh, I don't get story. what the heck they really have been doing it it seems so so dumb but I guess what can you do about it it's wild card being wild card 
They're being a wild card. I mean, I will say they are in... Okay, I've always joked... I'm no anime fan at all. I don't... I never watch anime. But they did um, announce an ARC animated series. And I do take an interest in it just because it does follow the ARC storyline. I've said for years they should make an ARC movie. And... Honestly, I think ARC would have been better off spending their budget there than making a new game. Because yeah. ARC... Yeah, you know, you know how you make an ARC movie? It's called Jurassic Park. Yeah. Not really, though. Uh, it's uh, you wake Jurassic up Bork. on the beach, and then it's Jurassic Park. Jurassic Bork. Yeah, I mean, I guess with how complex the storyline is, like it definitely gives a reason to do stuff in a way. Did I? I feel like now it's too late, but I think I heard a zombie villager moan as I went through my portal. <sighs> That was like. subtitles on for a second. How are we despawn? What do you think I'm trying to do? I'm trying to hu I'm trying to hunt for snow zombie villagers. I'm trying to get a good variety of zombie villagers. Not zombie villagers, villagers. I'm trying to get a bunch of. Ooh, that would actually be really cool for my villagers. They just get a big variety of villagers and have themed areas for each one. I like that idea. Thank you, Brain. Oh, there's Where's an iron this? golem down in this cave. Hello. Yeah, remember? I, I thought I told you about that many months ago. Well, there, there was an sense. iron golem in, your, in a cave nearby. No surprise. He must have spawned. He's like, yo, I'm gonna spawn here. I guess yo, it's now. spawning time. <laughs> it's spawning time. Commit spawn. Yes. Okay, so, um... Now, yeah, where was I? Right. Oh, yeah, so I guess with Ark Storyline, like, I feel like it could be something really cool, and they could be... At least this animated series could maybe not be a flop. I feel like, based on how they developed actual Ark, I'm really nervous what a sequel could look like. I mean, I guess if they release it in early access at, like, a starting price of, like, $15, I'll probably buy it just to see what it's like. If they release it at sixty dollars, you can bet your ass I'm not buying the game. No way. Ark right now, as is, is not worth the sixty dollars it's on. It's for sale for. I would say twenty five at best. It's not. Like it's a fun game. Don't get me wrong. Weird number. But I thought I thought thirty dollars was like a bit. Like, because of like the content of the game. I mean, and, like, my the, problem uh, with Ark is the, the the balancing changes became worse and worse and long and i used to talk about it a lot is arc is almost entirely balanced for pvp stuff now like the game is just meant for pvp servers but when like 75 plus percent of arc gameplay is just pve and single player or simple multiplayer it's like why is the entire game balanced around player combat like it's so weird it's so badly balanced in that regard and I mean, like when you tame it's a dinosaur, its stats scale down so badly that I don't know. It just we talked about it a lot that it just it seemed mind baffling that it could possibly be so bad. I don't know. You know, we need to bring Thanos in there. He'll balance everything. He'll balance everything. So I mean, like I don't know. It's a tough thing. I mean, Ark's been... I've talked about it plenty of times. I mean, we've done a few short Ark series. I mean, we did South Haven Challenge, and then during Season 5, um, we had Titan Crypt Aberrated. Um, and, like, both of those were cool stints, and they were, like, they were cool things to do at the time, but it was clear if both of them were not going to be long-lasting. And... I don't know. Like, I mean, South Haven Challenge, I guess, did last a long time. That one was more fun than Aberrated. Um, but, I don't know. It just... If any y'all wanna come and look at uh, my progress on the town hall. Maybe in a bit. I'm just getting to the stronghold, actually. Which is funny. I'm getting to the stronghold right as I'm gonna have to wrap up the episode pretty soon. So I spent my entire episode getting to where I should do my episode. <laughs> very, very professional here. I mean, I wasted my entire time walking around my house cleaning stuff up. You wasted an entire episode talking about art and... Cleaning up item frames in my house because of Smite and Storm. You could have done that just off camera. Oh my god. 
No. Well, because I brought it up because I finally saw it. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, it's more entertaining than working on the stronghold walls again. I've done this like four episodes in a row. Not really. I did. I've done it. I've actually had a pretty good variety recently. It's been a little less repetitive than it had been, and that I am actually quite happy about that. Is that I am getting a decent variety, and that is what I strive for. I don't want to do the same thing in every single episode. That gets old. Mm -hmm. I'm adding the cracked bricks and stuff back. Like originally, I was gonna like get rid of all the mossy and cracked bricks and make everything solid stone brick. And I'm like, I Where actually you playing. I like, yeah, I like the. The, That's the like, problem with building with stone bricks. I like the, the I like the decayed vibe I get when I do this. That's why I have in the castle. I have a little mix of mossy and stone, mossy and cracked. Although I could have done a little better job with the pattern, though. But eh, whatever. Hmm. Eh. I mean, this room is. This is very much a work in progress. I'll probably be able to get this done tomorrow. Punch the bunny. Hmm. Punch the baby. Why does bunny? Why is saying punch the bunny sound worse than punch the rabbit? They're the same thing. Or punch the baby. No. <laughs> I said rabbit and bunny. No, I said baby. Okay. <laughs> and I said. <laughs> You're not wrong, but that's not what I said. I don't care what, what he said. said. Punch the baby. <laughs> no. I'm not punching the baby. Fine, what? punch the baby. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm not <laughs> punching a baby. I would. El Yetus the fetus. <laughs> They're annoying. It just sounds like abortion. <laughs> yeah, but you can kick a gnarly field goal. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I hate you because you're making me chuckle over that. God. I shouldn't be chuckling over that, but I hate that. <laughs> That's good, Dom. That's very good. Gnarly ass field goal, bro. <laughs> Gnarly no! Alright. Well, Anvil sound! Alright, well, we're gonna wrap up today's episode here. Um, <laughs> I'm exceptionally tired. I want to get this video up before midnight, and I have other stuff to do. So, that's fun. Tomorrow's episode, if we have one, will be either working on the base, or um, we're gonna do a little thing as a community, and I don't know if that's gonna be tomorrow's episode, or Saturday's episode, or even Sunday's. Um, But, provided Snag keeps what she planned the other day, um, we will have a fun special community episode coming up. So look forward to that. That should be fun. Um, don't think I have any other news though right now. Uh, we're keeping, we're going to keep things moving along. We'll kind of get more into the Christmassy stuff as time progresses. I mean, Christmas is only 15 days away. So we got to kick well, into gear pretty soon. It'll probably, maybe I'll get the Santa hat out in a couple of episodes. It doesn't feel like Christmas is that close. Good. No, no. Anyways, on the note, hey, that was a great day. This has been a tin can. Dom. <sighs> and we will see you guys. In the next episode of Tankcraft Season 10. Thank you so much for watching. Plus Peace one. out. Bye bye. Punch the babies. <laughs> no!